Right now, you're going to watch an important BWB episode that's going to give you basically a q and I'm going to share with you my insights, my thoughts, and everything. I want you to first, though, before you watch the video, I want you to comment below. Let me know what questions, insights that you have as you're watching it. Uh, comment below on the answers to this question that you're about to see. And also, any questions that you have, you want me to answer on future BWB episodes. I'm watching all the specific comments that you have. I'm going to comment, I'm going to read, and go through that as well. Thanks for watching. Just scenery here. We're going to be filming outside the office uh, just to show you guys around uh, downtown Vancouver. This is a very nice area of Cool Harbor here. What do you wish you would have known before starting your business? So what I wish I would have known for starting my business was the amount of time, energy, resources that it takes to actually grow a business, let alone like starting one. Starting one's the easy part, but when you're actually growing the business, that's the hard part. I think it requires a lot of, uh, for lack of a better word, a lot of sacrifice that you have to make. Uh, there's actually a recent post someone did, which I agree with, where you can only focus on either your health, your money, um, your family, your personal uh, sleep time, or friends. And so you either pick three or almost none at all, right? So you gotta pick three of those things or you can only focus on those three and you have to let go of the other two, right? I kind of agree with that statement. So for me, it's either it's business. A lot of my business stuff translates to my personal side and a lot of my personal side is my business. So what I wish I would have known was the first thing, the amount of time and energy and sacrifice it takes. The second thing was I would focus on a lot more like putting myself in a lot more connections, a lot of circles. There's a lot of mentors as well that already are successful in the space that I'm at to go work with them or partner with them to be able to accelerate my growth. I think starting a business right now, you know, we have the, the entrepreneurial ego, or, you know, we feel like we can do everything on our own. But the truth is, if you're able to focus on connecting with someone that already has experience, the relationships, they have the, the lessons learned, the money burned, the time burned, that you can just talk on the phone with and connect with them to build your business, whatever it is that you want to do, or you can work for them to learn the ropes, and then you start from there. You're going to be a much more ahead of most people when they start on not knowing anything. I think one of the biggest things I see right now with entrepreneurs is that they do not want to focus on collaboration. There's a lot of entrepreneurs that focus on, they want to be the lone wolf building the business on their own instead of actually focus on building things together. Um, I was just on the phone the other day, uh, one of the, the, talking with a few entrepreneurs from a, a group, I'm not going to mention the name, but a lot of them were, you know, they were very successful, they sold companies for hundreds of millions of dollars, and they were not very humble, and they were not very uh, collaborative. They were really focused on what is it in for, what's in it for me, and how can I focus on growing myself instead of actually partnering with people. The second thing, the final thing I would say is really understanding the amount of capitals that you have in your life outside of money and the time. There's so much things that you can do with the internet right now. You can focus on learning from courses, uh, leveraging your, your mental capital. You can work with other people to, together. For example, like you can collaborate with certain people to build on projects instead of going out on your own. Uh, instead of focusing on the money, on starting, let's say you want to raise money for $100,000, $250,000 or $500,000 into your business, you can actually focus on um, going to a business that's already, uh, who already has like the customers or who already has the relationships existing that you want to tap into, go start and build that relationship with them and then tap into that network instead of focusing on trying to raise money for your own business. So those are the three things that I would say is the most important, focusing on uh, understanding the amount of uh, things that you have to sacrifice, time, energy, relationships, money. If you want to call a sacrifice, you have to really enjoy. That's another thing. You have to be very passionate about what you want to get into. If you're not happy about what you're doing, your business, or if you're working at a career right now, then you want to make that shift because it's something that you want to commit to five to 10 years down the road. You want to really want to define what that is and figure it out what it is and commit to it. Because if you're unhappy, then what's the point of life, right? Life is so short. I think that's really the fourth principle is that you want to understand that time is very limited. So you want to focus on what is it that you want to do that's really going to give you that happiness and the fulfillment in your life instead of just focusing on doing things for the sake of doing it. So gain clarity, certainty, and direction on those things. And that's what I wish I would have known.